The amount of health care workers dealing with depression and PTSD continues to grow. And those workers need help and they need it fast. Tonight, 3 News Now reporter Isabella Vasco shows us what's being done to protect our frontline workers. Our health care workers are in trouble. They are fighting their own war, the coronavirus, and they need help because their mental health is declining. Recent research indicates that um, statistically, 16% of healthcare workers were experiencing symptoms related to post traumatic stress disorder. Um, that's gone up to 36% uh, here since the pandemic hit in 2020. At Ease USA's Laura Fisher worries about what could happen if frontline workers don't get the help they need. The worst case scenario is that someone would end up so distressed that they end up committing suicide. Um, we see an increase in substance abuse. We see uh, an increase in depression, anxiety, panic attacks, agoraphobia. Experts say the emotional and physical stress of an infectious disease outbreak is heavy to bear. The politics around COVID, all of the do I vaccinate or do I not, and what's the right treatment, and, and is it even real or not, and that puts a strain on us too. They were dealing with dying patients without their families being able to be with them, sometimes literally holding a patient's hand in one hand, and holding like an iPad, and the other so they could say goodbye to family members. Ellen McElderry with the Methodist Community Counseling Program outlines what we need to look out for if we believe someone is struggling. Is that particular person having a significant change in their regular behaviors? Um, does their attitude or personality seem significantly different? Um, are they talking about difficulty concentrating, problem solving, feeling restless and sleeping? Healthcare workers uh, see themselves as servants to others. And they're, they're so used to taking care of other people and not as used to sort of saying, hey, I need help. I need someone to help take care of me. The system's broken. And it will break us if we're not careful to. Reporting in Omaha, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.